Hi YouTube, it's Patrick, and this is my next entry in the Blu-ray column. Um, and like I said, that um, I would do this alphabetical unless I picked up new movies or you know they were delivered from Amazon, and that's just what happened this week. So I'm gonna jump right in. I have a double one I have to do for this. It's um, two movies from 1994, two pretty different movies, equally great. It's uh, The Lion King and Pulp Fiction. So, yeah, I have to do both of these. I'll start with The Lion King. Um, I put this on... Uh, I, I love the movie. The movie is um, uh, one of D the Dis Disney's 90s Renaissance movies. Um, it's probably considered by Disney uh, their high point for that like 90s Renaissance along with uh, Beauty and the Beast. Um, some of the other movies were... Uh, it was, I think it was Little Mermaid... Uh, Beauty and the Beast, Lion King, Aladdin, Pocahontas, Hunchback of Notre Dame, Hercules, and Mulan, I think, are the the, uh, the group of them before Pixar kind of started turning out the better ones. Um, but yeah, so Lion King is considered the kind of the, the zenith for, uh, for Disney for that time. Uh, it's their most successful one. Um... Uh, personally, I think Beauty and the Beast and Hunchback are actually better movies. I want my Hunchback Blu-ray. Disney. Um, but uh, I, I put this on just to kind of take a look and see what the opening looked like. Uh, the Circle of Life opening. And um, I ended up watching the entire movie. Uh, which I didn't think I would do right away. I wasn't really feeling like watching the movie, but this uh, movie ends up... is pretty timeless, which kind of surprised me, because I knew I really liked, really, really liked the movie, but I wasn't, and it shuts off, but I wasn't, um, sure how much, uh, first of all, the movie looks amazing on, on Blu-ray, it's another, like, reference thing where you would show somebody, and, like, the colors just, like, pop, the soundtrack is wonderful, Hans Zimmer's, uh, score, just, like, really, really, I don't have any crazy sound system, and my, my television volume was only up to, like, 19 out of 100, and this thing was just, like, booming, um, but, you know, it's a great movie, um, surprised how time, I really like, again, surprised how timeless is, like, the first time I saw, you know, Mufasa, I'm like, oh, look, it's Mufasa, so, you know, it's a cartoon, um, like I said, the soundtrack was great, there's, um, there's a couple of moments in the movie, I'm like, oh, that's a nice camera shot, and it's just like, no, it's not, there's no camera, it's, you know, animation, uh, so it's actually really, really well done, um, Still got to commend the great voice work by Jeremy Irons as uh, Scar and uh, James Earl Jones, who everyone you know knows for his voice work as Darth Vader. But um, I got to say, there's a couple of moments in this when um, it's almost better than Darth Vader. A couple of moments here. If that's blasphemy to you, I'm sorry. Um, but it's a, it's a great movie. I mean, Lion King. It's basically um, Bambi with uh, Hamlet. And and lions, um, but <laughs> anyway, this was a huge, um, actually a huge plus to add to my collection. I'm really happy with the purchase. The other one, Pulp Fiction, Quentin Tarantino's best movie, his most famous movie. Um, he's never going to be able to make a better one, at least that's my opinion. Um, but that's actually okay. It's okay if the rest of his career he only makes movies that are second best to Pulp Fiction. Um, it looks great. It looks like it was made this year. It says it on the thing that its director um, approved by Tarantino. So, uh, Pulp Fiction, uh, I'm not going to go into why it's great. Um, it just is. It's Tarantino. Um, it was nominated for Best Picture in 94 um, with two other films that a lot of people argue about the three of these movies, about which one is better. Um, it's Pulp Fiction, Forrest Gump, and Shawshank Redemption. I was always of the opinion that if you don't like all three of these movies, something's wrong with you. Uh, they're all in my collection. So, um, yeah, that's where I stand on that. Um, but I am really happy with both of these purchases. Well worth the money. Lion King cost about 25 bucks because... Uh, you get a ton of extras and you get the digital copy, which I don't really use, but 
actually worth it. And Pulp Fiction I got for, I think, like 19. Again, completely worth it. It's a great movie. Um, yeah, uh, I guess that's it. Uh, the next one of these I do, it'll be back in the next um, alphabetical thing. Um, I'm trying to think if there's some. I'll probably, I think I'm going to put up a... If I don't put up another one of Blu-ray things before Sunday, I'm going to put up a football, I think, column on Sunday. Um, followed by the Dexter review on Monday. So, uh, yeah. Alright, guys. Um, I'll see ya. And, um, that's it.